What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went all the way down to some kind of ocean and made it over here to Cinnabar Island, yes. And, well, now, we're gonna be going into the Pokemon Burnt Mansion, I think that's what they named it, or the Burnt House, or whatever. And this is going to be home to a lot of uh, interesting Pokemon. Grimer, probably Muck, Growlithe, maybe Voltex, or Volpix, I should say. Now, this place right here has a little bit of a history behind it. As many of you guys would already know, in the Pokemon... In the Pokemon, the very first movie, it is explained that Dr. Fuji, or Mr. Fuji himself, uh, was part of an experiment right here that had gone terribly wrong. Or did it. Who knows? But, this is actually the ruins of all that, you know, that was left through the, the whole BS that went down. Now, it was being funded by prof or not by Professor or anything like that, but it was being funded by Team Rocket to actually make the greatest Pokemon ever in Mewtwo because they actually found, uh, what was it, like some DNA from Mew, the original one, the original Pokemon right here. Now, our situation is that we're going to actually find, uh, well, we're going to try and find the key for the Cinnabar Island uh, gym. That way we can go there, beat everybody, and then uh, be on our merry way and all that crud. So, let's see. We're going to be finding some uh, burglars here, so let's go right ahead and uh, use our other Pokemon that we did not use, like Torpedo. Let's go with And let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I can't get out! This old place is like a big puzzle! Yes. Okay, so here we go. Burglar wants the battle, and he's going he's gonna to be coming out with a Charmander. Yeah, I would have evolved it already, like twice. So, let's go right ahead and do a Bubble Beam. And the Bubbly Beam will actually defeat this guy, right? Yes. The Bubbly Beam does work right here. Look at that. Okay, and it's still boosted. He's going to be coming out with a Charmeleon, so let's go ahead and take in this guy right here. And let's go. Now, this guy could have two Charizards. Pretty scary right there. When you think about it, especially now, Charizards are pretty powerful. And, well, Charmeleon has been defeated. And look at that. Okay, and Torpedo getting along with the program. Going to level 41, and it is actually learning agility, and, well, let's see. Yeah, I kind of don't want to switch anything right there. So, let's see. Okay, come on. And new. No. Yes. Okay. So, eventually, we're going to be learning agility for some, like, strategic stuff right there. Okay, so, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Switches open and close alternating sets of doors. Hmm pretty cool now in every area right here you're gonna be finding a, a diary of some sort and you're gonna be you know you're gonna be finding out bits and pieces of what actually happened around here and I think this is the first diary now if you can piece them together that'd be great July 5th Guyana South America a new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle a new Pokemon now let's see um, I never really paid attention to these diaries or anything like that guys back when I was a kid. Um, in fact, I never even read them. But a lot of the kids who actually did pay attention to them, they would be like, okay, so where can we find a Mew? Seriously, where can we find a Mew? And then we actually found out that you couldn't really get Mew except for probably a an event, right? Comment down below if I'm incorrect on this whole thing right here. But we probably could, and let's see. But that was like during the days where you can actually get some Pokemon through events and whatnot. And, uh, and then there was that whole rumor of, uh, let's see, there was the rumor of the the truck near the SSN being the hidden sp or the spot where Mew lived. And yeah, that right there was uh, <laughs> that right there was something that we all tested and it never worked out. I remember the day I actually uh, tested that little theory out. And it didn't work, and I was so mad at my friends for telling me that stuff. And, well, here we are in another room. This place is, like, huge! It probably is. But, yeah, it's like I was saying, guys. I'm a, I, was a little, I was a little mad at my friends for lying to me about that. I don't know where that, um, that rumor came from. I think there's, like, a YouTube video explaining the whole rumor of you under the under the, uh, the truck in the, near the SSN, but I don't know how that came to be. And I was very angry at my friends for like, essentially lying to me and all that crud. So then I believe, I believe with the Game Shark, when I finally got a Game Shark, I finally like, you know, I hacked into a Mew 
And that was pretty awesome right there, having a Mew and all that crud. And well, let's see, let's talk to this. February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the, the newborn Pokemon Mewtwo. Now, we're going out of order right here, so we're gonna have to like piece them together. And we found ourselves a Max Revive, which we will actually be using later, hopefully. And here we have this, the Max Potion. And well, let's see, we're gonna be moving on forward. Let's go ahead and press this button right here. That way, we can go through a whole bunch of places right now. Let's see, if we go down here, Two doors have been opened, and there is another diary right here. You talk to this one. July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon, Mew. That is uh, right there. <laughs> like I said, guys, I never actually read the books as a kid. So you can actually imagine how confused I was, uh, and where was I in this whole thing. I just wanted to play the game. <laughs> and, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use another Super Repel, because uh, we kind of need that. And the vitamins, as you can see, I'm probably going to be selling because, well, there's not a lot of monies around here. And let's see. No, nothing right there. Can't go up here. We can. I think we already went there. Oh, yeah. We already went right here. Holy crud. <laughs> what was I thinking? So, let's see. Let's see. That's closed. Let's go ahead and press the button yet again. And secret switch. Who doesn't or who wouldn't? I wonder what I wonder why they are like they they keep on saying that. That's just big a big big question right there for me. So here we are in another room. Now we gotta just uh, press this button right here, and there we are unlocking the door to something else. And there is a trainer right there for us. Uh, let's see. I think he has electric type Pokemon. So let's go straight to Terramon. Actually, take on a Pokemon that it actually has an advantage towards. And this guy looked at us. My mentor once lived here. Was your mentor Professor or Dr. Fuji? I just wanted to name. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a scientist coming with a Magnemite. And here we have a Terramon ready to go. And let's go with an Earthquake. Now, we are going to take advantage of this whole uh, Earthquake to uh, Pokemon that could potentially flow because, well... Yeah, it's probably going to be the only time we're ever going to be doing it until Generation 2 comes along, which hopefully will be soon. And here we have Magneton. So let's go with another Earthquake attack right here. Mm-hmm. And Earthquake hits it pretty hard. Magneton does not like it. And, well, there we go. More experience points for all of us. And, yes, I'm loving the fact that you're coming out with a lot of Electric-type Pokemon. So let's go with a Self-Destruct on this. Holy crud. This is annoying. Kinda. And it is not effective, which is great. And there we go. Terramon did its thing. It's probably a good thing that we have a very defensive Pokemon right here. Now, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. So, you're stuck? Try jumping up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that just yet. There's some stairs. Let's go ahead right here, and you will be finding nothing, I think. There could be a... Okay, there could be a hidden item right around here. I never ever check. But there's nothing right here. What was what was the point of all that? So let's see. Let's go to the big area. And here we are in another area where we can actually just go downstairs. Now we gotta battle this guy. Can't skip on this guy. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. Let's go. Here we go. Scientist wants the battle, and he's coming out with an electrode. Hopefully, it doesn't use self destruct or anything like that. And let's go. Huh, Sonic Boom. Probably the only move that could actually beat us if used properly. But here comes an earthquake attack. And this earthquake attack does its trick. Defeating Electrode. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a wheezing. So let's take advantage of this, uh, again, Pokemon that can float and Earthquake attack moves. So there we go. Let's get it. And just like that, Weezing has been defeated. Happy. So happy. And Terramon has grown to level 42. So friggin' happy right there. Ouch. Yes. Ouch, homeboy. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, Key? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well... 
Nobody knows what I'm talking about. And we found ourselves another Carbos, which is great. Uh, let's see. Now, we can actually make an immediate exit right now if we wanted to, but we don't. In fact, we're going to go downstairs right here. And in Pokemon Yellow, remember this, guys. You cannot find a Magmar in this area, okay? It, it, it sucks. Yes, it does. But you can't find a Magmar. It's actually going to be in Pokemon Blue, I believe. No, Pokemon, Pokemon Red, I believe. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. It's been a while since I've actually played these games and... You know, Draven's not that much uh, smarter than you guys, and, well, we're gonna get attacked by a big ol' Raticate at level 46. Holy bejeebus, this is the place where I need to be. Time to die. Okay, counterattack. Ah, this Raticate is focused, huh? Go ahead, do it again, and here comes a Hyper Fang. And it's not very effective, but here comes the counterattack. And that really didn't do much. Okay, so you know what? I need to switch out that counterattack. I don't know what the heck it is. Okay. These Raticates have been getting all my god dang nerves for a, for a long, long time. And just like that, Raticate has been defeated. We get ex experience points. So I think I'm going to be training right here for some stuff. And here we found ourselves a full restore. And, well, there's another area right here we can actually find. There's a book, so let's go ahead and read that. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Huh, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, guys, go watch Pokemon the first movie. You will see. You will see what we're talking about. So if you talk to this guy, uh-oh, where am I now? Well, you're somewhere. Okay, so here we go, taking on a burglar, and he's coming out with a Growlithe. And yes, Torpedo is right here. Speedo Torpedo with the Bubble Beam. And the Bubble Beam. Here we go. And just like that, Growlithe has been defeated. And we get some more experience points right there. So let's continue on. And Torpedo, you're going to be focused onto this area right here. So let's go. There it is. And just like that, Ponyta defeated. And there we go, Torpedo level 42. So awesome. And he is not happy. He's like, ooh! What do you have to say for yourself now? You can find stuff lying around. Yes, you can. Okay. Press this button right here. And we are opening up another gateway. Here's TM14. I believe TM14 is Blizzard. Let's see. Yes, it is. It's a very, 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 and I mean very, powerful move. So, eventually we're going to have to teach the Pokemon, or somebody that. And, well, with opening that... Oh, wow. Seriously? Okay, so these Raticades want the smoke. Yes, they want nothing but the smoke. I got to get away because, well, yeah. But we will be coming back in here to train our Pokemon. And, uh, let's see. Speedo Torpedo. Let's go ahead and switch out to Ultra Psycho right here. Alrighty. Let's see what you get. This place is ideal for a lab. Pretty much is, guys. It very, it pretty much is. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a scientist. And he's coming out with a Magnemite right here. And, uh, well, Ultra Psycho is ready to go. Ultra Psycho using a sidekick attack. And... Well, look at that. Look at that. Magnemite defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. He's coming out with an electrode. Let's continue on right here. You won't use a self-destruct on me because I am maximum. That's right. Maximum effort right here. And just like... Oh, my God. Nearly defeats him. Not too happy with that. Yeah, electrode just survived. So, let's go with a seismic toss. Making it into a big old black ball, and just like that, we have defeated this guy. Boom! Alrighty, okay. Alrighty. Not bad, okay. So let's move on right here. You will be able to find another area right here with a statue, but before you do that, go right into this area, and you will be finding another item, and, well, huh. I guess we wasted all the, all the spots. Holy crud. Let's see... We need that. We definitely need that. Ah, oh, Lord. Lord Almighty. Okay, so... Yeah, we got an escape rope. Huh. You know what? Let's go with the full restore. Um, it's not like I'm going to be using it. Well, it's not like we're, this is the only one. 
And let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a rare candy, which will be used. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who can I use it on? Probably one of my, like, one of the other weaker Pokemon. Or they're all pretty much the same. Okay, so moving on ahead, we're, we got two items that we have to get right here, which is annoying. So now we have to make the, that decision real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use this rare candy on somebody. And uh, you know what? Let's go give it to. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta take a look at the experience here. The experience that these Pokemon get, because it's all based off who who's the furthest for the experience. Okay, that Pikachu. And let's see, Terramon. Four thousand. Godzilla. Yeah, you know what? We're going to give it to Aaliyah. Just because it's our very first Pokemon. So there we go. Aaliyah's at level 43. And now we're going to be finding the TM22, which is Solar Beam. A very, very powerful grass type move. And there is one more thing that we can get, and that is the key. Now we have to switch out something right here. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and hand in there. Huh. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to toss away the, the Ultra Balls for the time being. And we're going to grab this. And look at that. We found ourselves a secret key, which can be used to open up the Cinnabar Island Gym. And now that we got that, let's go right ahead and use that escape rope. Okay. So as you can see, guys, that was the conclusion of the Pokemon Mansion. The Burnt Mansion or whatever it's called. And there are quite a few Pokemon you can actually find in there, which I will be uh, capturing off screen and all that stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be going into the gym, but off screen, we will be capturing and battling and growing some Pokemon levels and all that stuff too. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, you know, notification buttons and all that stuff. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel right here, well, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on Blaine, the Cinnabar Island gym leader. See you guys.